everybody, Suzy Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today I want to take you along while I try to hatch some rainbow fish eggs. Let's see how successful I was. So I don't know if you've seen my previous video. Gary Ling <laughs> came to our local fish club and he brought some eggs. He bought between like 40 and 50 eggs in different pouches with its own food and instructions on how to hatch them and he auctioned them off. So there was uh, quite a few bags that he had brought with him and I was it I was I feel like I was very lucky enough to get one. So here's my attempt at hatching my own eggs creating brine shrimp and let's see if I got any fry. I gotta tell you I I don't think I was very successful. I got 50 plus eggs. I think I have one fry. If something could have gone wrong, it went wrong. But that's okay. I didn't give up. If I can keep that one fry alive, I am going to be so stinking thrilled. That's all I got to say. Let me show you what I, what I did to get these fry going. So I chose the second method of the two different, there's two different methods that uh, were on the instructions. I chose the second method to float my tray inside my two and a half gallon aquarium. But for either one of them, I had to add a little bit of crushed coral. And then I also added a pinch of aquarium salt. So I was adding my, a, a used sponge filter, a seasoned sponge filter to get my setup all ready. Um, I was floating my tray in this tank these were the fry that I got or the fry eggs that I got let me read them off see if I can get them Chilatherina Elani Wapoga Wapaga and anyway and we also had to make sure that the water temperature was between 80 and 82 uh, I know this thermometer is a little blurry to you but I was spot on with the temperature and then of course I had to add the uh, dechlorinator to my tap water. I started my countdown from the day I started from the day I added them to the tank, not the day that they were red. So here was day one, and I kept trying to pull out any egg that had fungus on them so it didn't spread. But it was very hard to see and very difficult to do. And as I did this, I think it was on day five. Yep, it was right after I took this picture on day five that I dumped the eggs into the bottom of the tank by accident full of debris. But I just kept going and on day seven, I think I saw something that got me a little too excited. Ah! Oh my God, I got a baby fry, I got a baby fry. So after trying to take some pictures of it, which I was unsuccessful, I went and got my macro lens and was able to catch this. So I had to do it in slow motion so I could actually see this amazing little tiny creature. Now that I had fry, it's time for me to try to learn how to make some brine shrimp. So let's go check out how I made brine shrimp successfully for the very first time ever. I got a FedEx package. Can I get a what what? Hey, Otter Creek, your sticker's in the mail. Let's take a look at what I got. It came in the mail and it said, Refrigerate upon arrival. So I did. Brine shrimp eggs. It's a brine shrimp hatchery. Because I've seen some do-it-yourself projects. And I've tried some do-it-yourself projects. And they didn't turn out so good. There's a game. Is Are you smarter than a fifth grader? No, not. I tried to culture baby brine shrimp once before and it was like a science project gone bad. So one fish, two fish recommended this, said it was foolproof. Not that she'd call me a fool, but I'm going to give it a shot. So it came with dish instructions, cool color, Ooh, it's upside down. Yikes. Let's see what we got. I should probably read the directions before I just, you know, go doing stuff. Okay. 
I'm going to need aquarium salt, check, or sea salt or baking salt, along with clean tap water or distilled water, one liter or quart size container to prepare the solution. You'll also need warm, well-lit area where the hatchery dish can be left undisturbed for 24 hours. No aerators required with the dish. Because of the shallow depth of the water, there's sufficient oxygen. Here we go. Okay. So let's see if I can do this. One and two thirds tablespoon of salt, one quart tap water. So now I'm gonna set up the hatchery. Oh, I have to set it up in its place where it's gonna be without being disturbed for 24 hours. I'm gonna put it over on that and I need an overhead incandescent light. So let's set that up. Okay, so right here, fill dish with hatching solution to the fill line. That's the fill line. Let me set this up. How beautiful. Place, this is the concentric white ring right in the center of the dish. Let me fill it to the fill line. And then place the mesh cup in the center. Aha! Using the small spoon, two heaping spoonfuls of brine shrimp around the outermost area of the ring. How exciting is that? Baby brine shrimp. Now I'm going to have to wait till the morning, but... Check out that gorgeous rainbow fish fry. Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming along and checking out my, my rainbow fish egg hatching project. Wasn't as successful as I wanted it to be, um, but I did give it my best shot and some things went wrong. I'm very happy to have the fry that I have and I'm going to do my best to keep them going. Let me know if you've hatched out some rainbow fish eggs or have you ever picked up some killifish eggs and just hatched them. I'd love to know your experience and how successful you were. Thanks for coming along and checking out my little project. See you next time.